Right, so today I'm going to show you how to make the XT60 connector. And uh, I use this connector a lot for basically anything and everything. As you can see here, uh, we're looking jump start battery pack. This is the RC battery pack. Another RC battery pack. This battery is for an LED panel. And uh, let me show you another one I have here. My homemade LED panel, also powered by battery pack, and this disconnector. So basically, I use uh, almost anything that runs on the battery. I use this connector. It's designed for an RC toy, but you can basically use it for anything. So let's get started. Right, so for this project, I'm gonna use size 10. Uh, wire. This is the biggest wire you can fit onto the connector. Can't go any bigger and it's really tight. That way you can get the maximum amount of current going through uh, the connector and the wire. Alright, so first let's talk about the um, the connector itself. Uh, you got two connectors here. Okay, one on the left is a male connector one on the right is a female connector and you always connect the battery pack to a female connector okay and on the connector itself it's got positive and negative terminal the positive you can see here it's got a square side one side is square the other side is kind of roundish it's got a cut at the corners to distinguish between the two terminals. And also, so that when you plug it in, you don't mess it up. Only one way to plug it in. Okay. The square side is always the positive terminal. Okay. So the red wire there is a positive terminal. The round side is the negative terminal. You can see here. Yeah. All right. The other connector is a male connector, and you always make this connector uh, to to connect to the device, whether it's a motor, a light, or uh, whatever device that you use to connect to your battery. All right. So this time I'm gonna make the. Uh, uh, connector for my battery pack here. It's going to be a female connector and uh, I have some liquid rosin flux here. This is going to make my job a lot easier without this. It's going to be really hard. So I'm just going to dip it into my flux just a little bit. Just enough. Not too much. And then I'm going to smear some of the flux onto the connector like that. So the positive wire go to the square terminal. Okay. And to solder this, I'm going to need the other connector, the male connector. Uh, this serves as a heat sink because when you solder uh, onto here, it's going to get really hot and uh, it might melt the plastic. So you want to uh, use another connector hook it up like this so the other connector will serve as a heat sink so we'll draw the heat away from the connector so it won't melt the plastic I got my third hand here ready to solder right, so when you solder the wire onto the connector make sure that it's going downhill toward the connector okay going down so gravity will pull the solder downward into the connector. If you ruin the, the other way, the solder is going to flow out of the connector. That's not what you want. So let's solder this. And 
and you don't want to put solder in first because this wire is very big and uh, it won't fit if you put solder in first. Solder here. You can see that when it melts, it's hot enough. Solder flows into the connector easily. That's it. All right, job done here. So next is the heat sink. The heat sink tube I'm going to use is size um, 316 inch and um, let me show you here. You got to put heat sink here because uh, if you just leave it like this, you see the two terminals are very close, so easily short out. So we see the gap here, right there, so I'm going to put the heat sink into the gap. Problem is, um, hissing is just a little bit bigger than the gap. So, what you gotta do? Yeah, let me show you here. Push in the gap, won't fit. What you gotta do is just heat it up a little bit, just on one end. Yeah, heat it up just on one end, so we'll shrink just on one end. Not too much, enough to fit in the hole, enough so you can push it in the hole, like so. See that? Now that it's in, you can heat shrink the, the, the rest of the tubing. And should be good to go. I find it's uh, a lot easier to use uh, <laughs> this than the um, the heat gun. And faster than the heat gun too. All right. We're done, so now I just have to do the other one on the other end. Should be good to go. Also, something I need to mention, the um, the female connector. You look inside the hole here, where you put the wire in. Um, it's really shallow. Really, really shallow. So you can't really push the wire all the way in. It's just the wire just go up to this point right there it just can't go any further because it's really shallow as opposed to the uh, the male connector the male connector it's got a deep hole in there you can see that so you can really push the wire all the way in so it's a lot more secure but I don't know why they make the, the female connector so shallow so you just uh, when you solder the wire, the wire just rests on the outer ring here, just like that. You can't push any any more in. But uh, once it's being soldered, it should be secure enough. All right, so I think I'm done now. So all I gotta do now is just solder the 
wire to the positive terminal and negative terminal my battery pack like so should be good to go